Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions, bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X14, and I want to talk about modeling joist hangers and how we can save ourselves some time and make the drawings look really neat. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this one and learn something new. Let's get started. So I've been doing this uh, for a little while that I've downloaded the um, downloaded the Simpson um, strong tie library from Chief Architect. And uh, for a while I would I would um, manually drop these um, hangers in here. And some cases it might be helpful to do that, but I found a way to uh, do it quite quickly and easily. Um, is I draw, I'm in my framing floor plan, and I'm going to draw a line. In my template, I've got initially the line set up is on CAD framing floor, and it's this red center line that's got a thicker line weight representing a beam. So I'm going to select that and change that to framing floor two because sometimes um, I want to draw lines on this that aren't on this floor on this uh, framing plan that are not a uh, representing a beam. So I changed did a separate layer. Anyway, I'm getting beyond myself. I'm going to change that to CAD framing floor two and convert this right down here, this polyline, convert the polyline to a polyline distribution path. Now I'm gonna keep it same layer as original object, CAD framing floor two, so that it still appears on this um, uh, layer set, framing floor layer set. And uh, I'm going to select my library object. Now in this case, I know I want the HU7 uh, right there, and that's an actual 3D object. Now, if you don't have this or you don't necessarily want the 3D view, uh, you can, let's, let's do this here, hangers, I did create a block that's just two L's, uh, CAD lines, that are joist hang just in plan view would represent a joist hanger and that uh, would work well that would work just as fine but in this case i want the 3d version for a couple of reasons and i'll show you here in a second um, so once you set this up notice that the first one starts right the first object starts right in the center of the object right at the start of the line so i'm going to draw a line and try to figure out that's about an inch, inch and a half offset. That's fine. Uh, so I'm going to select this and do my minimum and maximum distance, both at 16 inches. And I'm going to offset um, one and a half. This start offset uh, would move it in the x direction so this is now one and a half this way and then it moved one and a half or three quarters to the right one and a half uh i should say it actually the object moved one and a half up and three quarters to the right i'm going to actually change this that i don't want the three quarters to the right and just the one and a half is fine then I'm going to uncheck show path here. All right, so now I just have showing these hanger 3D objects. Um, I will point out that you do need the hardware layer on, as well as the layer that you put the CAD, you put the CAD line on or you won't see this. So if I turn hardware on, whoop, 
but turn CAD Framing Floor 2 off, you won't see it. If I turn Framing Floor 2 on and Hardware on, then you see it. Let's turn off labels. I don't need that. Now, I can move this from this point. I've already got one here, so let's delete that. Just point to point move from this point, the start, to the middle of this joist, the end middle of that joist, and they'll line right up. Drag this line over longer, and it'll keep going at 16 on center. Now I'm going to copy and mirror one on this side. It's not showing correctly on the side, so I would have to Let's see if I can rotate it. I cannot rotate the um, objects to flip sides. Because I don't want alternating sides. I just want one side. So I would, I do have to rotate this. I could do that or um, I, can I, um, I don't want to reflect. I thought there was a child tool, an edit tool to switch. Um, if I make that an arrow, About object. That's not what I want. I thought there was a, a tool to switch ends. Well, I don't want it as an arrow, so. Just a, a thought jumped into my mind. I thought we could switch ends quickly like this, kind of like flipping layers on a... Um, on a wall, but I guess not. So that maybe that was a long time ago. I'm just going to rotate it around like so, and you'll notice it doesn't really line up um, well, so I'd have to reorient from the start of the line again, and there you go. Now, the last thing you need to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to delete this line first because I need to set this. Let's find out the bottom of the um, the bottom of the joist is one or three and five eighths. I'm going to highlight that and copy it. And now I go back into my distribution line and I'm going to edit this and change my elevation reference to absolute and do elevation at bottom is one or three and five eighths. Now, one or three and five eighths is to the bottom of the joist, which really I want to this surface right here, not this bottom surface. So I'm going to subtract an eighth of an inch. Okay. And click OK. Now the beautiful thing about this is I go into my elevations or sections. Well, remember layers? I got to turn on the layers. So let's go to hardware and turn on hardware. And you also have to make sure you have the line um, layer on. So framing floor two is also on. Now I've got my joist hangers in section. Let's turn it on here again. Framing floor two and hardware in sections, elevations, and floor framing. Now if I copy this, which I don't really need to on this plan, because uh, but you could. Copy, it'll be the correct elevation. OK. Um, the last thing, saving all that time. 
I'm going to open this and set it at zero. I'd like to put this into my library, right? Save me some time. Well, I can't select it and put it into the library. I can drag or shift, shift select and make it a block, make it an architectural block. Then I can add this to the library and we're gonna call this uh, joist hangers two by eight polyline. When I drop this in my plan here, I select it, explode it, open it, edit, and tell it the correct elevation that we need. Move it into place, and we're all set. I hope this has been uh, helpful for you, saves you some time. I've, I've been using this off and on lately, and, and partly it's been frustrating because I can't figure out, and it just hit me how to put it in the library. And I can save all my joist hangers 2x8s, 2x10s, 2x12s, um, etc. As I use them, I'll just save block it and put it into my library and i just have to explode and set the correct elevation thanks so much for watching uh if you like this please hit like subscribe down there hit the notification bell otherwise take care have a wonderful week